Hello everybody. Got a USB smart plug instead of your normal plug in that goes into the wall. I'm using this for testing. Is that your normal plug that goes into the wall? That's smart. This is supposed to just be a USB smart adapter. It's really small. I actually kept misplacing it before I <laughs> made this video. Get my little opener. I'm going to try to see if I can use it on the old charge bricks that almost everybody had 10 years ago. Because I really don't use them anymore. They don't charge fast enough. And hopefully it works on this not heavy at all i think if i plug this in it wouldn't fall out gsb type a says it can put out 2.5 amps runs on the 2 gig not the 5 gig it says micro for some reason i don't quite know why it's micro because it's definitely not micro usb it's white plugged so it's not usb 3.0 i don't think it's really a data transfer i think it's only a uh charging kind of thing which I'm using it to run lights. So that'll work good. I'm gonna move this across here. If you guys wanna read it in Spanish, which is what I think I just showed you guys. <laughs> Pause it. Screenshot it and then read the screenshots. Let's have a bigger manual online because they're saying user manual scan here. I'm going to go ahead and download the app. I'm also going to put a little tester on there to see if I can run anything through it. So this is the app it's saying to install. eWeelink Smart Home. Let's see how many people have... I don't want to look at the emblem. 5 million people. That's pretty promising. This is Android. And the reviews are about... 60 40. I'll let that download on my screen right there. I'll show you guys what I'm going to be using to test it. See if I can get two amps through it. I'm going to be using these hand warmers that I have wrapped in paper uh, cloth. Um, these are about the highest power that I've had that isn't my phone. Okay, it's downloaded works with everything agree and type in my phone number it's asking for a password now and I messed up the password I check to make sure the password is what I said oh that was to log in I don't have an account so I'm going to create a new account it wants to know my phone number what region I'm in, which I've already selected United States, and then register with your email address. Validation code comes through your email. I go check my email, see if the code came through right away. It did. 4309. It's a simple, easy one to remember. 4309. Now type in a password because I had to make an account type in the password again oh my gosh I'm totally messing this up I'm in my air conditioner uh, it wants me to get special offers I'm going to tell it no click to done and it takes me right to a screen that kind of looks like my Govee. Connect to Google Home. That's cool. Add a device. We're going to plug it in first. It almost fits flush with that. They should have made it the exact size of that because everybody had one of them bricks back in the day. going to click Add. I'm actually going to shut my light off. There's a blinking light. And you can see right next to it there's another light. And then there's a button. We're going to make sure my Wi-Fi and everything's turned on. And quick pairing. Add one device. I'm going to switch it over to Wi-Fi. Gosh darn it. Switch it over to Wi-Fi. That's 2.5. Perfect. 
hurts when I poop. Oh my gosh, that's my email. Okay, so it all runs through there. Okay, type in the password for the internet. Remember password. Now it wants me to go under my Wi-Fi and connect to it. There's so many internets around here. How am I supposed to know? Let's guess that it's... Well, it could be either of these two. I've never seen either of these two. I'm going to go ahead and say it's that one. Because it's not locked. What's the brand? Okay, now let's see. Oh, it told me. Hi, Ted. Teed. Registered the device. Retrieving. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Device added successful. I'm naming it 3D Printer Light. And that's it. And it's offline. Device is offline. It added it. Oh, it just blinked. Yep. Yeah. Great news. Great news, it's offline. Device is offline, but it's set up, no problem. Let's unplug that. There, it turned on. I heard it click. Putting out 1.2 amps, 5 volt. Stays at 1.2 amps, no problem. Now push that button and shut it off. It shuts right off. But so far it isn't going through the smart stuff. It set up and found it, so it says. And it quit blinking the same way it was blinking. Hmm. Normally it just pops up on here. Maybe we'll unplug it and plug it back in. While it's rebooting, I'm going to close the app, reboot it, reboot the app, and I'm going to go get a better charge brick. One that puts out more power. Okay, still saying offline. Those are not good. So let's put a bigger brick on it that I have. I think you guys can see all this. Or if it says on it how much the input needs to be. Input just five volt. Anything's five volt. This one's even 5 volt. 5 volt at 1 amp. I miss these being the thing to use. Now there's too many different connectors. So we plug that in. It's blinking white. Yep, still isn't communicating with the device. We're going to go ahead and push on that button. Most likely putting it back into pairing mode. Or I'm going to pair it again. Same thing, got to do my Wi Fi stuff. 
I was using 2 gigahertz internet. Okay, connected to my Wi-Fi. That one's the password. It already put it in there. I'm not searching for devices around me. Oh, it found one. Why is this different than the last time I set it up? Clicking on the device under my Wi-Fi. There it goes, setting it up again. We'll see how it does this time. It's set up. It's still saying offline. Can you guys see it? Offline. It finds it, it's online. And it's not blinking the way it was. Let's go try to use a different app. I like Genie for a lot of things. Let's see if they will have it in there. Sometimes I can use a different app. To run my light bulbs and stuff. It's kind of nice. That isn't the normal way I... Oh, I normally click this. Smart power. Gotta do the same stuff on this. Make sure it's the right Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's like messing up. Hold on. Killing the app and starting over. Oh, son of a gun. Easy mode. Not searching. Let's see if it finds that device in the two minutes. If not, we'll go back in that app and restart it and see if it still says that it's offline. If it is, I see. I think there's something wrong with their app. That's why it was about a 60-40 ratio of uh, positive versus bad. popped up by now and it would change this to a cloud I did say it kind of acted like the Govi app so I'm gonna go check out the Govi app to me it kind of looks like this app see how it kind of looks let's go see if it'll come up in this app They do more than lights, I just don't know how to. They're normally other button. Jump start rope. Hmm. Smart plug. There we go. They discontinued them. I have uh I just bought one a couple weeks ago. See, it's doing the same type of setup. I don't remember setting it up like this, but that's... Uh... Yeah, it wants it to say Go V, so it's not going to let me do it. No. Well, let's close all my apps. Go back into this and see if it says online yet. Still says offline. So it doesn't work. Thanks for watching.